Peace and blessing, peace and blessing. I hope all is well. Peace and what's going on, family. It's your brother, Gadimshi, Golden Sun, and we just shine the time for God. And family, we've been in an interesting season. Y'all mostly know I've been in my car, all these informations I've been sharing with y'all. And um, I'm just feeling a lot of release, a lot of resistance being released. Um, I seem like, you know, along this path and along this journey of enlightenment, walking in God's focus, God's steps, God's vision, God's light, God's word, and then being the embodiment of Christ. There's so many people we meet, but we never always know why we meet them until maybe afterwards. And so in my last couple of days, I've been almost like doing people's healing for them. I mean, unconsciously not coming in here like, hey, I'm going to do healing for you, all this. But it's like just having conversations with certain people and taking in what their experiences are. And then, you know, being a Bluetooth speaker for God to say what he's saying with my body and everything. I'm just recognizing like, you know, a lot of people are really hurt in this world today. And it's not just like, you know, trauma, but it's also a lot of like mental patterns that kind of are etched into people's awareness about who they are, what they do. And, um, you know, what's good about them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been having issues with their voice. A lot of people have been sad about how they sound. No one's put out what they say. Don't want nobody to hear their voice, you know? And uh, as I hear some of these things and as I kind of like foster the healing for some of these people, you know, it kind of hurts my heart to see how people keep themselves locked in some type of frame or some type of story about, oh, I don't like my voice because someone told me this or how I sound and something like this. And uh, I mean, I'm just a little bit fortunate on the side of, you know, I don't really have much of those patterns in my spirit. You know, I have experienced not liking my voice, not appreciating my sound or all these type of things. But, you know, when I became aware of who I really am in the spirit of the living God, I stopped thinking about myself, how people think about me. I stopped thinking about myself, how even I think about me. And I only think about myself, how the most high thinks about me, because how God thinks about me. And how I hear God thinking about me just makes me want to do what he said. I don't really care about anything in the middle between there. Because it's like, no, if he told me and I know it's him, then I just want to check off what he said. You know, like that's my whole lifestyle, my whole summary and everything. And so that's what I do. And I love it. And it's fun, actually. But sometimes I recognize that people that I'm engaging with and sometimes mentoring, um, they may not have the ability to just submit to what God said because it's almost like they looking for a reason to do that and um I have a reason to do it it's called my yes lord I'm wearing it right now I wear it every day whether I got clothes on butt ass naked I still got my yes lord on because I just want to check off what he say you know it's like you having a conversation with God you don't want God to repeat himself or herself that's not fun you know because if God repeats something to you it's like damn I knew I was supposed to do this man that thing came to me yesterday man why didn't I you know what I'm saying so I like to get ahead of time by being the time. So doing exactly what God said, you know, so I got my yes, Lord. on, And, um, you know, I'm just very grateful for where God has me in the position of the spiritual authority of planet Earth in a summary. Because, you know, it makes me only available for what he's doing, you know, and even if what he's doing is a little challenging for me to get done. I know he chose me to do it because he keeps calling my phone. And so I send so much peace and grace and um, self-acceptance, the spirit of self-acceptance for all the people in the world. Because if you don't like what God made, you can't expect nobody else to. And I love my voice. You know what I'm saying? Because this God's voice, I'm just the one wearing it at this time. You know, and you should be happy about your voice, too, because that's God's voice what you wearing at this time and so I just give thanks to the most high because I couldn't do nothing without God nothing I've done nothing I'm doing can be done without him nothing it's what he shows me that I do it's only what the son of man sees that he sees the father do that's what he do that's what I'm doing too so family wherever you find yourself in the story the timeline I just expressed you know, it's always a place to come to when you accept and honor who God is inside of you, what God does within you, and how God leads you to do things too. It's very important that you honor what he says in you because I know I have it in um, ABC's Awakening on, I think it's chapter 20 or 19. 
have great reverence for the creator within you because God is not bothering nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like God doesn't drop an idea on you because it's sort of possible. No, that shit is extremely possible. He just needs hands to get to it. And those are, could be your hands if you say yes, Lord. So I got my yes, Lord on every time because every time he calls me, he only comes to appreciate my experience. And when you take the word appreciate, some people say, oh, well, that means you look at something, you see something good about it. That's one way of seeing it. But another way is also see the appreciation like a dollar of currency sense. You buy this stock and it appreciates in value, it goes up in value. That's the spirit of God. When spirit of God comes and you buy into what God tells you, that shit appreciates in value because all God needed was a believer. <laughs> he already knows. You know what I'm saying? God already knows all he needed was a believer. So he can believe with you by you saying, yes, Lord. That's the summary. <laughs> I love hitting y'all with the summary. Dang. I feel like I'm liberated right now. So, yeah, family, I just wanted to come on here and make this video, talk about, you know, some of the things and challenges people are having right now. The chosen ones, the illumined, the enlightened, it's all opportunity for growth, no matter which challenge you're facing right now. Whether it's a challenge of faith, whether it's a challenge of confidence, whether it's a challenge of belief, whether it's a challenge of action, you know, just doing the thing, whatever it is. Um... God gives up an opportunity to every single what you call a challenge because he's using it to strengthen you, to increase you, and to embolden you with his word. So you got to learn how to walk in that word regardless. If that word requires you to walk and you don't have shoes on, you better be talking to that pavement, like move out of my way, you know, and find some shoes all the way when you're on your way. You know, you might have to say, oh, well, I don't have shoes. I can't go. And so you wait. It's like, well, I'm going to wait till I get some shoes. And then when I get the shoes, then I'm going to start walking for the Lord. It's like, wait, hold up. God got some shoes for you on the road. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, hold up. You want to get everything like on the way you want to get it because it's like, oh, when I get it. But it's like you can do as much preparation as possible. But when time comes for you to walk on the road, that's what time it is. And so regardless, you got some Adidas on. Regardless, you got some Nikes on. Regardless if you're doing, um, you know what I'm saying, them, them, them feet shoes, them, them hand glove shoes that look like, you know, hiking feet i don't know <laughs> people be wearing these shoes with the toes look like gloves but it's like you know helps them walk whatever you're wearing you're going to be walking anyways so you might as well get to walking and let the shoes take care of themselves are you hearing this now if you're traveling from you know what i'm saying california to maryland you damn sure want to get a different type of vehicle you know but it's like the proverbial way of me illustrating this is to say don't wait to have everything in order to do what god said because God got your provisions when you get with his order. You hearing this? The order may be get started now. The order may be surrender to it. The order may be allow it now. The order may be give today. The order may be call this person. But you'd be like, I have to call this person, but I don't have, I don't know what to tell them. It's like, oh, you're looking for the shoes instead of looking for the way. You know what I'm saying? You want to get your shoes together. And then it's like, okay, now where do I go? Well, you still going where God told you to go anyways. So you don't need shoes to get there. You don't need to know the words that you need to say. You just need to know what he wants you to do and get to be about that business. He provides the words for you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I got to give you all what he said. <laughs> because he said it like that. It's like a proverb, but it's like, no, you got to get it like that. Because it's like, you want to have all the, everything prepared before you stick a step. It's like, he doesn't work like that. <laughs> I mean, I know based on how I work with the Lord. He be telling me some shit. I be like, Lord, that looks crazy. And he doesn't leave me alone. So I was like, all right, well, shit. I don't guess I'm about to be Mr. Crazy. <laughs> but I'm trustworthy because he can tell me I'm going to do what he said. I'm going to do what he said. But I'm with him. So summarizing this to say, family, just be about the Lord's business. Just be about the Lord's business, man. It's not about how somebody else takes you all the time a lot of times we want to make it about that but it's not about that because you can look like a great person because you leave a good impression to this person but what if you didn't fulfill your assignment how do you look to god you don't look like a great person so it's like man i'd rather fulfill my assignment and look confused but actually be in super clarity than to look like i'm in super clarity but we're walking with god feeling confused mm-hmm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm at peace with myself and my spirit because I'm at war with the ego world. I'll take the world at war. No problem. Spirit of God, I'm at peace with. <laughs> hey, be at peace with yourself. Be about your holy business. Let everybody sort it out for themselves. 
the world has a master plan and they're called the watchers. So you might as well put on a good God show. Do what the Lord told you. You're the first one to know. Talk to y'all soon. Ha, ha, ha.